I had a cold in the spring of 1948 in Oxford, where I was Eastman professor at Oxford. And uh, I stayed in bed for two or three days, three days perhaps. And the first day I read detective stories and just tried to keep from feeling miserable. And the second day too, but I got bored with that. So I thought, uh, why don't I think about the structure of proteins? Eleven years earlier, I had worked one summer with molecular models of the sort, the string and the uh, rod and ball molecular models, and with my ideas about the structure of uh, compounds of that sort uh, that I thought would give the right answer, and I had failed. Well, I tried again. I didn't have any molecular models with me in Oxford, but I took a sheet of paper and sketched to the atoms with the bonds between them and then folded the paper to bend uh, one bond at the right angle, what I thought it should be relative to the other, and uh, kept doing this, uh, making uh, a helix uh, until I could form hydrogen bonds between one turn of the helix and the next turn of the helix. And it only took a few hours of doing that to discover the alpha helix. Pauling had found one of the secrets of life. By folding his paper in just the right way, he had discovered how nature bonds together chains of amino acids into helical structures. This structure was later found to be a basic part of most protein molecules. So the alpha helix discovery helped lead chemists to a better understanding of the structure of protein in all forms of life.